Hello, happy Christmas. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. I'm going to do a little giveaway today. As you know, I like to travel light normally with the lure fishing for the bass. And although I'm no match angler, we're going to take a look at what's in the sea fishing box today. Um, and I want you to let me know if there's anything I've missed. Is there anything in there that's an essential piece of item uh, that you would always take with you that I've forgotten about? Uh, so we'll have a look at a few of the things in turn. Um, and then the winner. Uh, we're going to give away all these rigs, all made up, and these are all the rigs that we use more than 80% of the time. So we've got our pulley panels in there, three hook flappers, two hooked clip rigs with the cascade swivels, um, and they've been made by a top rig maker that I've managed to find. And let us know underneath if there's anything you'd add to your must-have items for your beach fishing box. Uh, we'll take a more detailed look at the rigs that we've been using this year. First up, always got a torch in there somewhere. Um, they're so good now, these LED torches. Uh, this one's a little box one, or one that I use with a GoPro actually for the camera stuff. You can get these so cheaply. Um, I know some of you are using Fenix and better branded stuff, so let us know what you think of that. To me, though, I really wouldn't spend more than 15 quid on this head torch. Really good LED, uh, and it goes with a little mini charger that I carry around as well. Uh, mobile phone when I'm fishing. <laughs> um, obviously there is some sort of safety reasons for that. It's not just to browse Facebook, but there are some good apps. I certainly use that Barometer Plus app as well. That's a really good one. Just to check the barometrics, any big fluctuations can normally lead to a good fishing time. Uh, XC Weather as well, that's the weather app that I use. And of course Google Earth, um, really good for researching marks. Um, although it's in the tackle box, um, you can actually reference that for individual rocks, boulders and where to cast. Uh, a couple of things to measure the lengths of fish, sometimes carry a tape measure. Um, and the alternative to that, of course, is um, the Match Federation measure. What I've done is actually put the sort of fish that we tend to catch uh, on the board as well, just so you've got a quick, easy way to measure it. This was the one where unscrupulous anglers cut a little bit off to make the fish look bigger. And then reels, of course, usually got a couple of multipliers, one spare. And then a box full of all the spare bits for rig making, if you do use a particular snood. So swivels in there, hook links, um, and then hooks of sort of size four, size six. And although we're not looking at the lure box here, of course, um, mackerel feathers, if you see a mackerel shoal, always handy to have some mackerel feathers handy. Those are better off on the uh, rig, those are better off on the rig winders, but out of season, there'll always be one or two of those floating around in the box. Famous steps to wedge as well. And then these uh, like linked T-hook disgorgers. So, uh, there's actually a really good video up there. I'll tell you what, I'll put the link up above. Um, that's from the Angler's Den. That shows how to use it. I'm not 100% behind these, to be honest. A lot of the time I can get it out using my finger or the pliers. Spare coaster, if I'm using coasters for the multiplier rod. Now, as for the leads, I'll always have the uh, breakaway hook clip on there. And you see these are like just under four ounce. Um, but all of my rigs are made up so that the bottom hook will go onto that clip. Uh, it works really well and keeps the bait nice and tight to the lead as well. Very good Victorinox knife. Um, did spend a bit of money on this, actually this was a present, but it's uh, really, really good, sharpens up really well. Some people carry separate knives for baiting. Um, I just use this filleting knife for, for everything really. And then a budget Chinese job. Um, this has got crimpers on it. You can see here is two crimp sizes, pliers, and then cutters as well, wire cutters. It's quite good. It's a Dr. Meter brand, which is quite budget. Uh, there are better ones about, and that might be something to look forward to for putting in my box for next year. Spare lines, of course. For the snood lines, I'm using uh, fluorocarbon and do have a few unmade up rigs and a few extra little bits and bobs just to repair the rigs. And really important, bait elastic. Uh, if I've got five or six bait elastics, then I'm all right, I'm happy. Put them in all the different places. Uh, sometimes you use a pair of old pliers as well. That can be good for bigger fish. Take out hooks. 
Um, there's a tool I use for the camera and put a flathead on that as well. Uh, rag, always try and remember the rag and a plastic bag, something like that. And then all the rigs I need for that particular session onto the rig winders. Uh, generally, um, for the sort of fishing we do here is three hook flappers, uh, the pulley panel or the pulley rigs, uh, and then the clipped into the cascade. I do use some of Tony's tackles, uh, Wacker Nosta with the shorter snoods as well. But the main thing is they're all made up onto the rig winders. So uh, in terms of getting the fish quite quickly uh, and traveling light as well, you're sort of ready to go with those breakaway leg clip leads. What have I missed? What have I missed? There must be something um, other than clothing, of course. Um, it's pretty much it. Uh, another thing I always take are these scales. These are absolutely, um, they've rusted up. In fact, they don't even have the batteries in it. Um, so I do need some better scales, definitely. <laughs> um, the, alternative, uh, the alternative to that are these ones here. The measure I got from the Bass Angler Sport Fish Society. And this gives a relative weight to the length of the fish. So obviously uh, you're not, weighing the fish. I do have a little weighing bag in there as well um, if I'm not going to lip hook a fish but these are really good and obviously that goes in the lure fishing bag as well. You can see there it gives the weight of the fish uh, according to the length of it. What have I missed off? <laughs> Usually forgot something. It is good to travel light though if you can um, and we'll give away these rigs to the best answer for something I might have forgotten and then I'll pick the best one out of that and send those off to you, wherever you are in the world.